find the perimeter of the pictured rectangle. Here we have a rectangle with length 6 and 3 fourths inches and width 4 and 2 thirds inches. The perimeter is a measure of the distance all the way around the outside of the rectangle. And we can calculate the perimeter by adding up the lengths of the four sides. So let's go ahead and do that. My first side that I'm going to take here is along the bottom, six and three fourths inches. And then I'll go up this side, that's four and two thirds inches. And then we'll go across the top. Now across the top is a side that has the exact same measure as the bottom. That's another six and three fourths inches. And then we come down this side. Here, this side has the same measure as the four and two thirds inches. So we have another four and two thirds. Let's add these four numbers together. Now, to add them up, we need a common denominator for the fractions that are involved. The denominators that I see are four and three. Why don't you make a guess about what the common denominator is before we go ahead and figure that out? Now, if we're going to figure out the common denominator, what we need to do is find the LCM of 4 and 3. They're the two denominators that are involved here. We get started by breaking down 4 into prime numbers. 4 is 2 times 2. 3, the other denominator that's involved, is already prime, so we just leave it alone. And then to get our LCM of those two, I need two twos and I need one three. So two times two times three, which is 12, is our LCM. You know, here, because four has two factors of two, three has one factor of three, they don't share any number as a factor. Because they don't share any factors, we can multiply four times three together to get that LCM. Now let's go ahead and change each of our fractions to a form that has this common denominator. So I want to write 6 and so many twelfths, 4 and so many twelfths here, 6 and so many twelfths here, 4 and so many twelfths. Because I'm writing with common denominator 12, I need to think about how to change the numbers above each numerator of a fraction. I look below and think about what I multiply 4 by here. 4 times 3 will give me 12. So up above, I also multiply 3 times 3 to get 9. 3 times 3 is 9. In my second fraction, the 3 below, what do I multiply by to get 12? Well, 3 times 4 is 12. So up above, I take 2 times 4 to get 8. And then I continue with my last two numbers here. In the third one, 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 times 3 is 9. That's exactly the same as our first one. And in my last, down below, 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 4 then is 8. And that's exactly the same as my second one. Now I'm ready to add up all four of these numbers. 9 twelfths plus 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths plus 8 twelfths is going to be so many twelfths. Now, 9 and 8 is 17, 
plus another 9 plus another 8 is 34. Then I need to add the whole number of parts here. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus another 6 plus another 4 is going to be 20. Now I have 20 and 34 twelfths. But that answer is far from simplified here. There's a couple things I still have to do with my fractional part. Because I have a larger number on top here, in the 34 over 12, I want to convert the fractional part to a mixed number. I'm going to divide out the 34 twelfths. Let's do that right here. I'll take 34 and divide by 12. 12 goes into 34 two times. 2 times 12 is 24. Subtract, I get 10. I can write my remainder 10 over the number in front, 12. So I have 2 in 10 twelfths. That's equal to the 34 twelfths that I have right here. So 20 and 34 twelfths I can write as 20 plus 2 in 10 twelfths. That's the same as adding the 20 and 2, 22, and 11 and 10 twelfths, sorry. That's 22 and 10 twelfths. Now there's still one more thing I can do to simplify here. I can reduce my 10 twelfths. I have 22, and now I'm going to break down the numbers above and below in my fraction. 10 is 2 times 5, over 12 is 2 times 6. I can cancel a 2 above and below. So now I have my final result here, 22 and 5 sixths. That's 22 and 5 sixths inches. And that's our measure of the perimeter of this rectangle.